As the world of guitar heads more and more in the digital domain, we're seeing legendary companies like Friedman, Saldano, and even Fender making a push into the digital amp world. Fender with their Tone Master Pro, Friedman with the IRX, and recently Saldano with the Astro 20. But what if we want something that's simple, cheap, portable, but still flexible and has some cool modern amenities. Well, Universal Audio has a few great options for you, and today we'll be checking out the Lion 68. <laughs> Let's talk about what the Lion 68 has to offer. First, there's three different vintage Marshall style amps built into this one pedal. First, we have the bass, which is very old school Marshall, kind of JTM 45 style. Sounds really warm and fuzzy, but doesn't get overly high gain. Next, we have the lead, which is obviously modeled after the incredible Marshall Super Lead Plexi. And lastly, we have the brown, referencing the Eddie Van Halen brown sound, which is kind of built off the lead where it's a Marshall Plexi, but super hot rotted and modded, has a lot more gain in kind of smooth saturation built into the amp sound. And then right out of the box, it comes with three different speaker sounds. First is a kind of a greenback 25 watt, greenback 30 watt. And then I'm not sure what the last one means, but JB and GB. But when you register the Lion 68 on their app, the UAFX control app, you instantly get three more speaker sounds to choose from. One and my favorite being a vintage 30s. Now with the UAFX control app, it's very simple, but I really love that they implemented an app to kind of control some different aspects of the pedal. The first thing is number one, you can save presets there. And secondly, there's a bunch of awesome stock presets to choose from. In fact, three of the guitar sounds from the song in the beginning of the video are actually just presets right from the UAFX control app. For the main rhythm track, I use the preset called When Cries Rhythm Mary. I tried it out and I was super inspired by the sound. It felt really great, sounded great, and so I went with it. <laughs> That preset uses the lead amp with the Greenback 25 speakers, which are mic'd up with the Ribbon 160 microphone. And there's quite a bit of room sound on that, which sounds really, really cool. Now on the first kind of solo, the crunch solo sound, I use the All Along the Watchtower preset. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
right. And that is actually the base amp model running it to the Greenback 25s as well with the same mic, the one Ribbon 160 microphone. Now, when I did the slide guitar, I actually used my own kind of sound. I wanted the most sustain and distortion possible for the slide. So I went to the brown sound, cranked up the volume all the way to 10, cranked up the boost all the way to 10, and then the room sound all the way to 10. So there's no reverb or anything added to this guitar sound on the slide. I just cranked it all up and I went with it and I thought it sounded fantastic. <laughs> And lastly, we have the heavy solo. For that, I use the round 80s around preset. Sounds pretty awesome. Let's check it out. <laughs> Now that's actually the lead amp again using the Greenback 30 speakers mic'd with an SM57 and a Ribbon 121. Now beyond the typical controls of an amp like bass, middle, treble, the Line 68 also has a built-in boost and then also the room sound which is really really fun especially with a direct unit like this. It's not reverb but it just kind of emulates the sound of the room which makes it more inspiring, feels good and sounds good. All right now let's take a quick look at all the different features of the Lion 68 starting off with a bass amp with the Greenback 25 speakers. If you would like to support me and this channel, go check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Over there, you'll find tons of great guitar lessons, all with tab, covering scales, licks, techniques, and much more. You also get early access to videos, and you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one lessons with me. Thank you guys so much for the support. Let's get back to the video. Now in old school martial fashion, I'm gonna go ahead and dime all the equalization. <laughs> Now we switch over to the Greenback 30 watt speakers. We got to go on the alt switch up and then these knobs change. So instead of bass, middle, treble, this is going to be room, this is presence, and this is boost. So here's the room now. Sounds like I'm in a tile bathroom or something. Here's it all the way up. Just feels a little bit nicer than just the dry. There's nothing, and then here's a little. All right, let's try out some more speakers. Turn the presence down a little bit. Now let's go to the extra speaker cabs right here. Bye. Uh -huh. 
Then, of course, you can turn the speaker off completely if you're using some other kind of IR or the aux stomp, something like that to use your speaker sounds. All right, now let's go to the lead amp. <laughs> So right away, a little bit smoother, a little bit tighter in the low end. You can hear the presence knob. Adds a lot of hiss. All right, well, that's like with the gain all the way up on the volume one. Let's turn it down. Oh. That's a nice just rocking Marshall tone. Let's try the boost out with that sound. Very smooth. All right, now let's go to the next speaker. That's a very nice combo with those settings there. Now let's try out with the brown amp. I don't know, I just think that cab's like super 80s. I'm getting a lot of hiss. Nope. I was wondering if the hiss was from my lights, but it's just, I think it's just the pedal just cranked up everything on 10. Oh, <laughs> 
All right, well, that's been my demo, the UAFX Lion 68. It's a really, really awesome all-in-one unit that sounds great. Lots of cool features. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys back next time.